Miss Wyndham, can you tell us what you've been doing earlier in the day? I got up, went to Starbucks, went to the gym, got a perm, and came home. Where you got in the shower? Yes. I believe the witness has made it very clear that she got in the shower. Yes, yes, Your Honor. Have you ever gotten a perm before, Miss Wyndham? Yes. How many times would you say? Two a year since I was 12. You do the math. You know, the girl in my sorority, Tracy Marcinko got a perm once, even though we all told her not to. Curls weren't really her look. She didn't have your bone structure. Thank goodness she got, she entered into the pie cap wet t-shirt contest where she was completely hosed down from head to toe. Why is this relevant? I have a point, I promise. Then make it. Chutney, why is it that Tracy Marcinko's curls weren't intact after she did the wet t-shirt contest? Because they got wet? Perfect. Because isn't the first cardinal rule of perm maintenance that you are forbidden to wet your hair at least 24 hours after getting a perm at the risk of deactivating the ammonium thygloccolite? Yes, but... And wouldn't someone who's had, say, 30 perms throughout her lifetime be aware of this rule? And if you, in fact, were not washing your hair, as I ex suspect you were not, since your curls are still intact, wouldn't you have heard the gunshot? And if you, in fact, heard the gunshot, then Brooke Wyndham wouldn't have had time to hide the gun before you got downstairs, which would mean that you would have had to found Miss Wyndham with a gun in her hand to make your story sound plausible. Isn't that right? She's younger than I am. Did she tell you that? How would you feel if your father dated someone your age? You, however, had time to hide the gun, didn't you, Chutney, after you shot your father? I didn't mean to shoot him. I thought it was you walking through the door. I knew it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Guards, take the witness into custody. Mrs. Winham, you are free. Thank you, Your Honor.